once again, in any crop that can be a hybrid, beets, fennel, corn, cabbage, all, the, the, all of those things, the organic varieties that are being offered are hybrids. And that's that vendor lock-in thing again. They want to be able to lock you into their product. Okay, and then there are uh, the organic seed company, the seed distributors. And this would be companies like Seeds of Change, high mowing organic seeds. These guys are buying the seeds from the big guys, from Bayho and their organic seed divisions. So in the seed industry, typically, there's this upper level that actually breeds and grows the seeds. And then below that, there's a level that distributes the seeds. And these are the catalog companies. The catalog companies are buying their seeds from the bigger companies. Companies like mine, in Stellar Seeds from British Columbia and Peace Seeds here in Corvallis. We grow all of our own seeds. We're not, we're not buying seeds from others and selling them. That's what makes my seed company different than Seeds of Change, let's say. Seeds of Change is a little bit unusual in that they buy seeds both from the corporations and from farmers like me. So Seeds of Change has its own network of organic growers that they've been developing since the early 90s. Um, and so they are sourcing their seeds from, and high mowing is this way, and so is Fedco, and so is Johnny's. They are both sourcing seeds from farmers as well as from industry. The conventional seed industry, outside of organics, uh, is a global enterprise. There are always large companies, um, larger companies that are owning smaller companies. They're really vertically integrated. Many of the conventional seed companies are owned ultimately by Monsanto, um, DuPont, Dow, Bayer Crop Science, and, and these are the really big entities. And they own not only seed companies, they own seed distributors, they own all sorts of uh, service companies that are related to the seed industry. I think it was 2004, I believe, um, the world's largest vegetable seed company, Seminus, which had been buying up smaller companies from all over the world for many years, Seminus was finally bought by Monsanto. And so you have the lar world's largest vegetable seed company suddenly owned by the world's largest agricultural company, agricultural products company. So um, these things are really tied in together. And then when you get to the GMO, the biotech companies, basically the drug companies and the, the chemical companies are the biotech companies. And they own the seed companies and the, and the distribution system all follows from that.